Today, Halo Reach releases on the MCC, but it's not a simple copy pasta from the 360 version, as well as the MCC did get some updates and some major changes you should know about, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about some Halo Reach because today is Reach Day! A release day has finally come for you guys. So if you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. That really helped out the video and channel a lot. I really would appreciate it if you like these news informational videos. You know, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on Halo Reach coming to MZC. I'm sure it's going to be rather positive. And if you're new to the channel, want to update with anything going on within the Halo community, that's Halo Reach, MCC, Halo 5, Halo Infinite, Halo TV show, everything in between. Make sure to tap subscribe, guys. Keep yourselves up to date with everything going on within the Halo community. So let's get right into the content here. Okay, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about a few things. T topics, we're going to be talking about the ranks being reset in MCC. Some legacy content, your reach maps and modes coming in for the game as well. New progression system being added into the MCC. The different settings that will be used for different playlists in Halo Reach as well. And the pricing and breakdown for the whole thing on top of that. So guys, let's get right into the content here. Like I said at the top of this video, yes, ranks are going to be reset. As in your 1 through 50, it's going to be completely cleared out. That's for all ranking playlists. Every per playlist rank is going to be completely reset back down to 1. You're going to have to grind your way back up to 50, which for me is going to work out well because I didn't get a chance to grind out MCC while it was super popular. Now I'm actually kind of finding if an issue to find matches because I'm too low of a rank. Hopefully this will help me out here. Now, also keep in mind that they're not carrying over the same ranking system as they did in Halo Reach. They're using the 1 through 50 system, the similar system you found probably back in Halo 3. It's all based off of your wins and losses. You win, you go up, you lose, you go down. Pretty simple. And I do believe it's a plus or minus 10 threshold from your rank. So if you're level 20, the lowest rank you'll find is 10, and the max rank you'll find is 30. So Somewhere in between there is where you'll be finding your matches moving forward here in Halo Reach and just the MCC in general. Now I think we have legacy content. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about there, if you guys remember way, way back and probably during the summer we were talking about it a lot, but it was the map migrations and game mode migrations that were coming over to the MCC as well. It was a one-time transfer, guys, so if you're trying to bring over your 360 modes, you, uh, it's a little late now, but because that transfer already happened. But for the people who did do it right, you can get a chance to go into your file shares and pull those game modes uh, from what they uh, were uploaded to. Over 6.2 million maps and modes from the legacy files from Halo 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 4 have been transferred over. So you guys want to keep in mind, download your stuff while you can to free up that file share stuff if you're on the Xbox. Sadly enough though guys, on the PC you will not have file share available for you guys. Though you will be able to access Xbox user file shares, so keep that in mind as well. So, and also, if you're my guys play on PC, you do have the modding community. If you know any modders, get a chance to get in there and play some games as well. Because I've seen some fantastic content coming from a lot of people already through the flights that you know. Well, I don't think Forge was available, but barely, and they were able to mod the game already to where able to create just insane modes you've never seen before. So you got definitely got that to look forward to. So for your Xbox users though, this is how that whole th process goes down. Uh, this will happen when you launch the title after the game update and move past the initial start screen. The update will queue up the process so you can access your updated file share and migrate the local, your local content uh, to your system. Again, I'll reiterate for your PC users, you won't be able to have a file share, but you'll be able to download Xbox user content from your file share. So you get to check out their their profile, download it to your system and play from there. No, but they will be adding in uh, Forge, Theater, and File Share later, at a later day for your PC users. And they have another thing that's going to be brand new to the MCC. It's a progression system. So you guys will be playing matches, you unlock awesomeness and be able to progress through not only just ranking up and get a higher rank so you guys can flex how much halo you actually play but these ranks are actually going to lead to something it's the progression system to where you can unlock various items within halo reach they're also introducing a season pass model which is going to be completely free no microtransactions at all in the mcc guys 
so keep that in mind. The way this whole thing is going to work is as long as you play matches on dedicated servers, you will earn XP, and every time you unlock a new rank, you unlock a season pass token, or whatever, however they want to call it, you get one point. And every point you get, you get to unlock a new uh, item in the tiers of the season pass. There are 10 tiers, each tier has 10 items, so 100 unlocks for season one for Halo Reach. Now, most of these unlocks are, like I said, are gonna be reach focus, as in they're gonna be the armor sets, uh, voice sets, uh, different armor effects, and things like that. And so there's gonna be a lot of things broken down for that. When it comes to the later on seasons, when like CE, Halo 2, Halo 3 come to it, uh, they will have their own season pass as well, and you will be able to jump around between the two as well. So say, if you're just like, you know what, I don't care about reach, I don't care about unlocking anything in there. You can just skip that season and then jump right over to the CE one if you want to do that. Or save all your points for the Halo 3 season, vice versa, or something like that. Or you can just hop in and just kind of unlock what you want. But you do have to unlock each item in sequential order. You can't just hop around between like, oh, I just got one unlock token. Let me get the Haunted Helmet from Reach, which is not going to happen because that's... I need to grind the game quite a bit, and uh, from my experience from the Flight 3, that uh, when they initially launched, it was a bit of a grind. They did tweak that quite a bit, and 343 is taking a lot of time in consideration into how much time is going to be needed to go through each season. So between, between their intended uh, amount of time you believe they believe it should be needed to play, well, then uh, we'll figure out how much uh, XP you will be needing for that. And trust me, I will be releasing a video how to uh, gain as much XP as possible within a certain amount of time. Now, there are going to be three different types of settings that are going to be used in the matchmaking modes when it comes to playing Halo Reach. It's not going to be a simple just play, and it's going to be the same thing every time. It's going to be a little different for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to break it down for you right here. So uh, there's going to be vanilla settings which are going to be the original release settings that Reach came out in. There's going to be three different modes and we're using vanilla settings. Invasion, which is going to be ranked. You're going to have Griffball and Infection that are all going to use vanilla settings, which from my playtime in the Flight 3, playing Invasion, that yeah, you're definitely going to want to use vanilla settings. Title update settings would work out okay, but it wouldn't be doing as well as vanilla because uh, you're going to need that bloom so that people can actually move throughout the map on these large scale maps. So there was no bloom. Yeah, that would just be just everyone have spawning with a five shot sniper rifle. It wouldn't be fun. Trust me. Uh, talking about no bloom, well, we have the hardcore playlist, which is going to be the kind of sweaty boy 4v4 MLG playlist. It's going to be zero bloom, no sprint. Uh, there's going to be bleed through and various other things with that as well that come with hardcore settings. Uh, this one's definitely uh, this was very favored when it came towards the later half of Reach's life, uh, where people say this is some of the best settings that Halo's ever had for competitive. So you definitely want to jump in, give it a go. I certainly will. I do enjoy my sweaty 4v4s when it comes to playing Halo. And they're also going to have your title update settings, which are going to be reduced bloom. And various other armor abilities have been tweaked or removed completely as well. So you know, I will be making a video, guys, the difference between vanilla and title update. So you guys can know the difference between those two. It's very important to know what you can get away with, especially when it comes to the lovely armor lock we're all going to be looking forward to. And also keep in mind that campaign and firefight will also be using the title update settings. And lastly, guys, you're probably wondering, well, how do I get this game? How do I play it? Well, you're going to have to buy it if you're going to be playing the campaign. For the Xbox users, it's going to be a little different, though. Uh, for your Xbox players, multiplayer is going to be completely free. Multiplayer, I believe Forge and Theater and File Share are all going to be free for you players. Now, if you're going to want to play the campaign or Firefight, you're going to have to pay $9.99 to play those, which, come on. I mean, 343 put a good amount of time and effort. I mean, it took us from... Uh, April of 2019 to December of 2019 for them to release this game. So I think 10 bucks is worth the amount of uh, play time for that for sure. Uh, for the PC users though, you will you can buy just uh, Halo Reach by itself for 9.99. Though if you want to, you can buy the entirety of the MCC for 39.99. So if you're going to be buying more than four of the, out of the what seven games that are on the MCC. Probably buying the whole thing up front is going to be the way to go about doing that. So, uh, uh, keep that in mind, guys. Now, there are is also going to be the um, Game Pass option as well. I have Game Pass Ultimate, but I'll be getting the game on Xbox and on PC automatically given to me. But it's going to be on the Windows platform 
and on Xbox. Now, I do know there is a way to where you can have your programs or games launched through Steam. I don't think it puts you on the Steam servers though, but there is a way you can have it open through the UI. I might make a video on that as well if you guys want to keep check that out as well. Let me know in the comment section down below. But if you're a Game Pass user on Xbox, you just get the game completely. It comes with Game Pass. Same thing for your Game Pass PC players, it just comes with Game Pass. So you get everything included with that. No additional charges with that. It's gonna be quite awesome. But yeah guys, that's everything you need to know to get ready to jump into Halo Reach on the MCC. We got some major changes happening to MCC itself. A rank refresh, which is pretty great, for, at least in my opinion. <laughs> and also we just got Halo Reach. I mean, MCC, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be streaming it a ton. I'm going to be releasing a bunch of content on this channel, guys. So make sure you tap subscribe. Uh, check out the link in the description down below to my Twitch channel. I will be streaming it quite a bit. I'm planning to do a playthrough, a legendary playthrough of the campaign as well as, as well on top of that, playing some multiplayer with uh, air viewers and everything in between. So guys, make sure you check out the channel and stuff like that. I really do appreciate you taking the time to come by and watch this video. Hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are with uh, the updates coming to MCC and Reach. And if you're new to the channel, we'll update with everything going on the channel, guys, and the Halo community. Make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourselves up to date. If you're new or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.